I'm always browsing on Instagram and Flickr throughout the week, and I see so many cool Lego mocks and creations, so I thought that I may as well make a video just talking about some of the coolest ones that I've seen. With that all being said, the first mock that I want to talk about is titled Oracle, and it is by the builder Jarek. Obviously, Jarek, a very well-known builder throughout the community, probably one of the best TIE Fighter designs in Lego form, but this is just an original piece, something he came up with from his imagination, and I, as soon as I saw it, I just knew I had to talk about it. So basically, the premise of this is there is a cybernetic kind of lady in the middle, and she is being held up with some wires, and her internals are exposed. And I say internals and not organs because she is somewhat cybernetic, so we don't really know what is actually going on there. So basically, just talking about this from the start, first thing you'll notice is obviously the color contrast. So the backdrop is very monochrome, the black and dark gray, obviously setting the stage for the woman and the lights to just shine really bright. And so that is definitely something that works very well in this build. As you can see, those columns kind of on the right and left are just comprised of a bunch of different piping elements. And at the bottom, you can kind of see there is almost like a skeletal rib cage area. And then on top of that, he's using the shoulder pad piece from the buildable figures, I believe, as like a faceplate. So that looks pretty cool. And then going up top on either side, there's an even more fleshed out version of that. You can see using different tubing pieces and I think sausages to make that kind of rib cage. And then the same thing with the head, but this time there are arms kind of going out and then he's using whips to emulate kind of hair looking details going back. This whole build has an almost Matrix vibe. If you guys have seen the last two Matrix movies, you might know what I'm talking about, but basically just all of that piping and mechanical detail kind of gives me those Matrix vibes. And then just moving into the centerpiece, the woman, actually a pretty simple build for her construction, just using some slope pieces for the arms and then using buildable figure pieces for the thighs on the legs. These I believe are actually the knee pads, but he's using them as thighs to fit the scale of what he's going for, which I think work really well. And then just those internals. He's got the Indiana Jones whip in there. He's got a blue rubber band, a bunch of gray whips, and then just other small little detail pieces to make all of that really intricate detailing. And I just think it really works well. But like I said, this is something original. You don't really see builds like this too often. So as soon as I saw it come across my feed, I knew that I had to talk about it. Next up, we have this NRN99 Persuader Class Tank Droid by Classic Bricks. This is a vehicle that we've seen a few different builders approach, but the reason that I selected this one is for the piece that he used to make the back section. This is actually a big Bionicle piece and it works phenomenally for the backside of this tank. As you can see, just zooming in on this image, right behind that strip of the Technic connector pieces, you can see that spined section. And then he's kind of covering up the bottom with some one by four panels, which meet up nicely with some slopes at the bottom there. So very intricate techniques going on through the entire build here, but that was kind of the main thing that caught my eye was like, wow, that's a really ingenious use of that piece. And then obviously the rest of the build is just as nicely done. It's an interesting use of those printed pieces for the eyes as well. Previously, we've seen builders use the minifigure racing helmet with a minifigure head inside of it to kind of get that look of the snail tank eyes. But this, I think, definitely fits with especially Classic Bricks' style. If you guys aren't familiar with him, he has a very specific style that he goes for and he just nails it every time. The next build that I wanna talk about is titled The Black Raven Inn by the builder Ben Kasi. This is one of those builds that uses simplistic techniques, but very, very well. As you can see, just looking at the landscape, it is very simple. It's just basic plates laid down. There aren't too many tiles or wedge plates or anything. He does have some nice rocks and boulders mixed in, but the actual technique for the landscape is very basic but it works really well for this build. And then moving up to the actual inn, as you can see, very, very nice techniques. He has a nice rock cobblestone technique going for the base or foundation for the build. There's a nice front porch there. All of the trim in the dark brown versus the white contrast looks really nice. But again, with those simplistic techniques, all of the weathering and texturing detail is just using tan plates and tiles 
and it's arranged in a textured pattern so that when you kind of pull back, you see the weathering, but when you get in real close, you just see those individual checkered pattern pieces and it just works really well. Another thing that I really love about this build is all of those olive green vines going all over the roof as well as the front and sides of the building. And those trees look really good too. I'm a huge fan of olive green, especially when it comes to foliage and sand green as well. Sand green is one of those colors that kind of got ruined when it hit the pad wall and everybody started using it, but I'm really glad to see Ben kind of bringing it back in this build. I haven't really seen much going on with sand green in the past few years, so this was definitely a treat to see come across my feed. Next up, we have a build by LSW Mocker underscore standoffer on Instagram. This is titled The Battle of Teth, and when I saw this, I was immediately amazed. This is something that I've never seen anyone attack in this scale. I've seen a bunch of Teth builds. This one just really caught my eye. The colors and vibrance really sold this one for me, and this is, I think, the only time I've seen anyone approach any of the actual monastery on top as well. This actually got me thinking about maybe building my own Teth in the future at some point, but this build just has so many nice techniques. And like I said, with the colors and the way that they blend together, especially with that black background, they just really stick out. So this is just a really nice build here and I definitely wanted to talk about it as soon as I saw it. As we're going through, Basically right at the bottom, we have some nice ground texturing with tan and dark tan. A little bit of a tree right here and an ATTE leg that he built, which looks really nice. And then going up, there is some dark bluish gray going up into a bunch of lavender and dark purple, and then some clouds and trees that he built to add in that sense of height. And then going all the way up to the top to that monastery, very simple techniques going on here. I do like that rounded spire there, and the weathering really works well on that wall for the monastery. So really, really nice build here. The colors and everything just work so well together. Next up, we have a build by my friend Malin Garrick. This is titled The Raid at the Tula Rancor Cantina, and he built it for the Dark Times RPG. This obviously has very, very nice techniques, and we can get into those a little bit later, but the reason that I selected this was for his photography. Malin Garrick has such beautiful colors, and the way that he captures scenes in LEGO is just amazing, so that was the thing that really caught my eye about this build, but just jumping into some of the techniques, over at the left you can see a cantina, similar setup to the most icely cantina that we see obviously in A New Hope, and then back there we have some nice tables and details going into the wall. And then the techniques he used for that main rounded doorway look really nice. He's using those dark orange or medium nougat kind of tube macaroni pieces, I believe from the Winnie the Pooh set. And then obviously got some nice tubing and stuff forming the rest of that rounded opening, which just works really well. And then to the right of that, we have what looks to be a droid scanner, which looks really nice illuminated with lights. And then over to the far right, we have more seating. As you can see, a nice technique with those bread baguette pieces as the cushions for the back of the seat. And then all the way to the right, the final thing is it looks like Ahsoka has fallen on hard times, unfortunately, here. Um, but just a really nice build. And then going to this picture, you can see just the lighting and the atmosphere that he creates with his photography is just phenomenal. This was one of those builds that I thought, wow, this is stunning when I saw it. All right, those are some of the best mocks that I saw this week. Obviously, I didn't have time to go through everything that I saw this week, but I hope that some of this was interesting or useful. I do highly encourage you guys to go check out the builders. All the links to the mocks that I talked about will be in the description. So go check out the builders and spread some positivity. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.